I woke up this morning to see this photo and it angered me, really, because it's wrong. They shouldn't be smiling in this photo. It's a food bank for heaven's sake. There shouldn't be any food banks in modern society. It's 2022. People are living in poverty, desperately worrying about how to feed their families because the cost of living has skyrocketed from electricity to gas to fuel and food. It's all going up and it's still going up. And shockingly, some people using food banks are working people. These are professionals, nurses, mechanics, teachers and so on. What the hell are these people doing? Having to swallow their pride and dignity and pop down to the local food bank to feed themselves. And yes, I know there will be people in the comment section saying just what the Tory MP said the other day. That young people these days can't budget properly. They can't cook properly. And it is a valid point in a small minority of uh, people in society, but not the majority. There's too many people using these food banks. These food banks shouldn't be existing at all. So here we are, the mayor of Dartford, who's a conservative, by the way. And I'm not sure if that's her husband um, smirking next to her. And they're all laughing. They're all having a jovial time. They're celebrating the fact that there's a food bank in their society, which they've popped down to open and have a jolly good laugh about it. Well, I think it's sick. And there's nothing about this situation that is worth celebrating. It's not funny. You know, the woman stood there with a fucking gold chain around her neck laughing about the fact that she's gone down there, cut a ribbon to open a food bank, so that people who are on their asses financially can feed their families. It's wrong. It shouldn't be like this. There should never be a choice in a modern democratic society such as Britain, or in the West, or in the world, really. Not in today's day and age, where you have to make this choice between either feeding yourself or your family, or heating your house. It's, it's, just, it's just sickening, isn't it? And the Tories have done absolutely nothing about it. I mean, fuel prices are going up by the penny where I live. And uh, supermarkets and uh, petrol stations are just hoping people don't notice, but we do. But it's not just the cost of living crisis that's forcing people into food banks. It's super greedy landlords as well who are just charging ridiculous amounts for rents for really shitty properties. So it all adds up. And the next thing you know, you end up in a food bank. And I don't want to see food banks in my society. And I know people are going to say, well, you voted Tory. You voted for Boris Johnson at the last election. Yes, I did. But can you imagine Jeremy Corbyn being in number 10 and his Marxist government literally bankrupting the country? It would be in a far worse situation in the future, I can promise you. And lastly, what the hell are we doing as a country sending two billion pounds to the Ukraine to fight a war which we have absolutely nothing to do with. I mean, we're not at war with Russia. Russia's not at war with us. So why the fuck are we sending assets over there for? It should stop immediately. And as long as we have food banks over here, we should stop paying foreign aid as well. We need to get our own house in order first. So if you ask me, this disgraceful female mayor needs to just take that chain off and just retire I mean, no doubt she's probably retired and has a guilt-hedged pension anyway, owns her house and doesn't have to worry about anything financially. And here she is laughing. What a completely out-of-touch bitch. I mean, really, I, I have no idea what the fuck are they all so happy about in this photo. It's sickening. Anyway, that's what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you wish to support my channel, it's not mandatory, but if you like what I do, if you believe in free speech, then by all means you can buy me a beer. The link is down below. And that's that. So until my next video, please comment, share, subscribe and Roger Trout.